going to the club was wrong. I knew. I often said to myself when I was in Germany, I need to get out of this country because I'm going to hell and I know it. I knew it. But I was having a good time, Steve. Moses was living in the palace with Pharaoh. People feeding him grapes and fanning him as he lounged. While his brethren was out there being beat like a slave they were. And Moses made a conscious decision to leave Pharaoh's house. The pleasures of the, of, of, of the baths. They had, they had baths. You know, they had running water. They had, they had hot tubs and massages and oils and, and fine foods and, 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 and fine linens. Moses exchanged that. To suffer with his people. The Bible says that Moses rejected the pleasure of sin for a season. There was nothing I liked more than meeting another girl when I already knew 10. Okay? And then I didn't like uneven numbers, so I had to get another. I had to be 12. I was tired in my body, not knowing what disease I may get the next time I step up to somebody that looks cute. Do you understand? It was fun. It was fun. I weighed the danger. But if I had died in this, I would have bust hell wide open. And then nothing would have been. Oh, God. Okay, 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 God. Okay, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. i tell my friends. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. God says, too late. It's too late. I'm trying to tell you that you have to give your life to God so you go home and tell that you got to leave up out of here. Don't call me no more. My wife said, Reggie, you can't be friends with everybody. I ain't give you all no details. She know that. And she's right. Man, is it, I remember being recorded. I'm going to delete that part. Some people are only there to pull you the Bible says that there's sin that comes before men and there's some sin that come after. You want your sins to come before you. That means before you meet him. Because anything you do can be forgiven. There is an unpardonable sin, but Paul was so merciful that he didn't even tell you what it is. Your brother may not ever forget that you owe him twenty dollars, <laughs> but you gotta let it go in your heart. My wife tell me about people. She stole my boyfriend when I was in the sixth grade, and you're forty-five years old, man. Every time you see her around town, there she is. <laughs> there she is. She ain't no good. <laughs> what happened? She stole my boyfriend. Where the girl went in the sixth grade? Can you imagine God holding everything we've done against him? And some people legitimately ripped you off. I'm talking about the things that choke you out. Unforgiveness is a weed that will choke you out. Your girlfriend's making you feel guilty because you don't want to go to Vegas this year. And you may want to go to Vegas. But you know you shouldn't go to Vegas. And everything in your body, your clothes and your closet is for Vegas. And you know it and you say no with tears in your eyes. You say no. You cry. But you're saved when you're through crying. Those people that went to Vegas for that concert and that man full of Satan took his rifle and killed those people. Am I telling you a real story? Did those people in San Francisco go in an illegal building to party on staircases made with pallets? Mm. How many people will come to church with a church raggedy like that? Zero. But if, in, if partying is in your heart, you will do it at the dump site. How many people in San Francisco that died in that fire 
knew they were about to die and says, man, my mama told me that if I just went to prayer meeting tonight, The club in 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 in, in uh, was it uh, Florida? The one in London where the people came in and just shot up folks. When they when, when they saw what was about to happen, and the man had the gun in their face, do you actually think they prayed and said, "Jesus, forgive me for all the things I've done"? Mm. All kind of stuff is going through the head. What about the woman who told her husband that she had a business meeting when she planned on going to Hawaii with her boyfriend and the plane fell out the air? What am I saying? We all going to see Jesus, but we're going to see him at different times unless he comes to the rapture. And the Bible says, make your calling and election sure. Make sure you're ready to meet him according to his standard. Don't say, well, I think I'm all right. That's not good enough. See, your best It's not good enough. We need the righteousness of God. And the word of God comes. And if it falls on the thorns, you're going to be in church and produce absolutely nothing. It says it yielded no fruit. In other words, it was so wrapped up what was going on on Instagram, what was going on on Facebook, what was going on at home. They couldn't concentrate in the house of God. They couldn't grow. They couldn't produce. They stayed sad. They stayed mad. Dipping and dipping. Oh my God. I come to church, but I don't want to do it in church, folks. I'm in church. All my best friends are in any interest. I trust them. Am I, am I talking? Melinda cannot repent. She was married to a pastor. He sinned and she sinned. But he tried to get it right and live. She lived in her transgressions and died by the hand of her boyfriend that she was living with and wasn't married to. We are walking around intoxicated by the devil. And she died. Now I'm wondering what was on her mind three weeks ago when that joker kicked in that door. When he sucked her in her eye. What was she thinking? Was she thinking, oh my God, this is my last day on earth. And my work is not done. She cannot get it. Right, she lived in fornication and she lived in adultery. She knew she was an adulteress. She had excuses for being an adulteress and she died in her adultery. And I don't know who's gonna preach that funeral, but don't let me do it. Now let me do it. She died with her work undone. The Bible says that hell has enlarged herself. Why? Because hell was created a certain size. Because it was only for those disobedient angels that God had kicked out of heaven. But because of the heart of man and the disobedience and the nastiness in their heart and the secret that they want to tip around and, and hide behind closed doors that like nobody can see them, hell is going like this. I don't got to go to church to be saved. Hell goes like this. I like messing with preachers. They have the best sex. I don't mind dating a married man if he's going to pay my rent. I'm God's gift to women. I got all of them. They know I'm messing around. Hell is who. Ain't nothing wrong with sipping on a little alcohol every now and then. Whew. Ain't nothing wrong with a little flacker. Whew. Whew. The Bible says heaven has enlarged herself for those who are going in. And some people the devil ain't messing with. They're doing it all. They're on autopilot. They're in church and they're being choked. Any excuse would do if you don't want to do something. And others fell on good ground. In the year of 40, 60, they increased. They increased. Somebody say increase. increase. Listen, you have to increase. 
You have to have determined in your mind that I will increase. I, will, I know why that, that, that sound ain't working because I'm talking about something. This is going to save you. When Jesus comes and the trumpet sounds, he's going to get only those who have died in his spirit. Amen. Am I telling the truth? Amen. This is kingdom life right now. Now, if you are so weak behind that joker, every time he calls you answer, change your number. Have your phone forwarded to Sister Washington's phone. Just forward your phone for about 30 days. Let her answer your phone for you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care what you produce, just produce. Those who do 30, do 30. Don't worry about the person who's doing 60. Those who are doing 100, you can't be satisfied with 30. Because you know you're supposed to be doing 100. If you're doing 60, don't get jealous at the person doing 100. Do you, man. Do you. Find your niche. I said some sins come before man. Right now, people, the click of the clock, all of our sin is before us. We have a chance to get it right. Amen. It don't matter what it is, Steve. But there's going to be sin to come after. Don't worry about reading the book of Revelations. And don't worry about Daniel. Let me tell you, if your sin comes after, that means when you stand before God, you're going to confess everything. Yes, Lord, I was this and I was that. And God said, yeah, I knew it all along. I'm glad you admit it now and now go to hell. Pretty much. He said, I'm going to open two books. And in this book, everything you did is written. And I don't see no blood on this page. You understand? When I say blood on this page, Lord, forgive me. I see all the stuff you did. Now, this is God. And over here is another book. Is your name here? I'm sorry, you do not have a reservation here. There's no debate. You have to make sure that your name is written in the Lamb's, not on the church roll, in the Lamb's book of life. What is it going to take to get your name in that book? It ain't hard. It's today I'm going to change my mind. Not going to eat chicken no more, Lord. Now I want chicken right now. So I'm just saying, some stuff is, is, is tough to let go. You know, you've been used to doing it. It's your comfort zone. You think you need it. I understand. That's why he said, let your understanding go. Let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. Get another mind. Cry if you have to, man. We've been new men endure for a night, but you want to have joy. You fear and find out that that dude had it. Man, look. Sex is more powerful than cocaine. Because God said it's good. Anything that God says is good, the devil can prefer it. And I understand. Trust me. There's not a whole lot of things I understand. But I understand that. So, let it go, man. Say to yourself, God, today I'm letting it go. And you say it every day until it's gone. No, bro, you got to get up out of here. I know I'm going to trust God for my rent, but you got to go. If you don't go, I'm going to go. Because if I die tonight, Laid up with you, I'm going to bust hell wide open. And guess what? You're going to. And it's just that serious. Jesus ain't playing, y'all. You think he's going to come here and die for you and let you do what you want to do? Any old kind of way? He says, unless you take up your cross. Do you understand? Jesus picked up the ultimate cross. He paid the ultimate price. Now all you gotta do is lean on me. Pick up your cross, man. Go through some discomfort. If you don't wanna suffer with me, 
If you're not willing to have all your friends turn their back on you, if you're not willing to stop selling them drugs in the streets, legal prescription and otherwise, if you're not willing to let it go, you cannot reign with me. You're going to have to go do something. You're going to put some skin in the game, man. But do it because you love me, not because you're scared of me. Listen, I don't know if all of us is going to make it to the end of the year. I don't know if we're going to make it to next week. We're going down to Pomona on the freeway. Sister Deborah, I don't know if there's going to be a drunk driver coming. How can I know? Do you think Dr. Miles Monroe would have got on another plane if he knew if he got on that plane and he would see Jesus? Do you think Aaliyah would have gotten on that airplane if she knew it was going to crash? You don't know. Make your calling and election sure. Put all your money on Jesus. Say, God, I would have lived for you if the whole world turns their back. God, I'm going to stand. I'm determined. Give me grace, God. I think you understand. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. You know I love you. You know I do. And your salvation means more to me than your check on the first. Because we can all put $5 in and get you a meal at, at McDonald's, man. But I'm not going to encourage you, Steve, to go out there and commit crime to take care of your physical needs. Thank you, Father. Let's stand. Let everybody just stand, please. Just stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Just close your eyes and just lift your hands and begin to worship God. Just begin to worship God. Just begin to worship God. Just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. He says, I love you. He says, I love you. He said, I love you so much. That I died. He said, I love you so much. I took.